Okay, what you're looking at now is my completed prototype of my electronic cat door. It is um, actually a very simple circuit. I know this looks like a bunch of wires. It's a mess. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's actually just uh, one, two, three, four buttons and a servo. And then, of course, uh, my Arduino, which is not going to be part of the picture later. I'm going to move everything off into a little board. And then a, a little piezo speaker right here on my breadboard. So the way it works is that I'm going to have to train the cats to push these buttons. Um, one will be mounted on the outside of the door. One will be mounted on the inside of the garage door. What that will do is that will activate the servo, which this will be attached to. Um, that will uh, lower, or um, excuse me, it will raise uh, this little um, acrylic uh, piece of acrylic. It will it'll raise it to um, let the cats go through the, the cat flap door and then um, it'll stop at a certain point after it hits this limit switch here it'll wait a few seconds um, and then it'll beep at him a few times through the speaker and then it will lower itself uh, and then it'll stop, it'll know stop when it hits this limit switch and of course all the programming is taken care of done by the Arduino, it's pretty simple code I might make it available to anyone who's curious, um, but it's really basic, so um, it's nothing special. Um, the only other thing to note here is that I um, found out from the forums, the Arduino forums, is that you want to keep this, you want to keep your servo's power separate, or you don't want to power the servo from the Arduino. You want to keep it uh, uh, powered by another um, another power source. So that's what what this is all about. Um, and that's really all there is to it. I, I, I'm done now. Now the next step is to move on to a circuit, an actual circuit board, and then um, make some hardware to it. attach these to my door, and you know get all this completed. So, anyways, I'll, I'll give you a little demo. So again, I'll push one of these buttons. It'll it, this will spin one direction, and then to simulate it hitting the top, I'll push this button right here. And then uh, it'll. I have just programmed five seconds just for um, demo sake and you know testing sake. So after five seconds, it'll beep at us a few times, and then it'll lower the cat door by going the other way. And then the way it knows to stop is my other limit switch, is it'll hit this, and then it'll stop the servo from spinning. So here we go. Let me push one of the buttons here. So now it's lower, or excuse me, it's raising the cat door, and it's going to hit hit this switch once I get it to the point where I want it to stop, just like this. It's waiting for a few seconds to let the cats go through. And then to give a warning, it'll beep a few times. Just like that. And it'll start spinning the other way. Nice and slow, that way it doesn't go down too fast. And then when it gets to the bottom, I'll have it have this switch mounted so that it hits, hits this right at the right place. And it stops the servo. So that's basically it.